we want to work smarter, not harder. I don't want to build two sides of this face. I just want to build one side of this face. So let's tab into edit mode and then um, right click and subdivide. Now don't touch anything yet. If you touch anything, you're going to lose this guy down here. All right. Now let's open up this subdivide and let's pump up our number of cuts and then increase our smoothness to one. And just like that, we got some geometry. We got some good, fun geometry. Let's scale this down a little bit to be, I don't know, the size of our head-ish. Um, we can bring this up on the Z. And there we go. So right off the bat, we're, we're cooking with fire, OK? And we have, we went from a box to a cube. I'm going to hit 1. And now with 1, as my vertex select, I can click on any vertex on this sphere. Okay, if I hit two, that's my edge select. So now I'm going to hit, I'm going to click some edges here. Let's just, I'm going to take off. Uh... So this up here is, uh, this is x-ray mode up here. And this lets you select stuff in the back of the model as well. But I really just want to touch stuff in the front. So I'm selecting the edges right here. And an edge is a line. I'm going to hit one. An edge is a line that connects two vertices. Vertices, obviously, are, is, vertices is the plural of vertex. Vertices are individual vertexes. When more than two vertices have lines that connect, they form a face. And if you hit number three, you can hit now our face select. So these are just shortcuts. You can also come up here and click this individually, right? You can hit the, so here's your vertex select, and here's your edge select and here's your face select the shortcuts are just one two and three one vertex two edge three face okay and as you know we're going to be grabbing a bunch of stuff and those are just handy dandy shortcuts that are going to make your life easier capiche so with that out of the way here let me bring this down just so it's just touching the crown of the head okay and so now you know how to grab individual parts of our model one thing we want to do right off the bat is just delete half of our model. So I'm going to select just, if you can't click and drag, make sure you hit this arrow um, that make sure the select box is selected. Okay. And then click and drag over half of our model in front view, delete vertices. And there it goes. Goodbye. Now you say, well, well, why'd you do that? Um, because we want to work smarter, not harder. Okay. I have no intention of modeling two separate halves of a model. Um, let's, let's use Let's use the tools of Blender as they were intended. So I'm going to tab into edit mode. I'm going to come over here to my prop. This is my properties panel. And you, you are going to live here. Okay. If you're going to dive into the world of 3D modeling, you're going to do a lot of neat things from the property panel. From the property panel. Eventually, you're going to get, you do geometry nodes and you're going to get rid of the property panel entirely. That's like, but that's a matrix noise right there. That's like, there is no spoon. Um, but for the time being, there's a spoon and learn how to hold it. So click this wrench right here to our modifier properties and our modifier properties. Guess what we can do to our mesh? We can modify it in many different ways. And what we want, we want to do, we want to add a mirror modifier. So come up here and click mirror and look at that. Okay. So now this mirror happens. So I'm going to tab back into edit mode. And if I take this vertex right here and if i grab it see what happens on the other side it mirrors so now i only have to build half of a face uh, one thing we want to do is make sure make sure clipping's on right here okay this is super super important double supers okay because if clipping is off let's just take this vertex right here and i'm going to grab it away from the center and i have a split okay you can see his head splits right here and now we can we can you know, it's just kind of like a third eye. Um, and we don't want that. And if I cross over, now we've crossed into the stream. You can see that there's, there's this just ugly. And some bad things happen here when you do this. And crossing the streams is bad, Ray. To get out of that, I'm going to escape out of that. Um, just turn clipping on. So now, watch, I'm going to grab it away. And I can't move it. I can't even move it out of the center I'm trying to or take a look turn it off and I'm gonna grab it away and now I've separated this but when you turn it on look what happens when I bring it towards it it stops it's just stops everybody with me so far great 
save your work. If there's one thing I can teach you, it is the importance of saving your work often. Now, what we want to do is we just kind of want to pull our ma or we want to pull our mesh to kind of the, the the shape of this head. Okay, and there there's loads of different ways to model. You can do something called vertex modeling, where we just use vertices and kind of trace around the shape of our model. You can use edge modeling, which is where we use edges and kind of trace around the model. Um, there's sculpting, which that creates very high poly models. This is called box modeling. It's where we take a box and we add some geometry to it, and then we just kind of push and pull and add more geometry to it and kind of build it out. There's no one right way to model. You got to find what works for you. And if it works for you, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Uh, just, just run with it. So I have this vertex selected and I have proportional editing on, and you want proportional editing on. Okay. Here's why I'm going to turn it off. And now with this selected, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to grab this and you can see this one vertex is moving out and it makes him look like he's got some some either so now he looks like batman or he's got some you know some demon ears or maybe he's an anime fawn or it's just something weird daredevil i i don't know right so i'm gonna escape out of that but with proportional editing on now i hit g and you might not see this circle you gotta you might need to roll in your middle mouse okay and the circle is the size of influence of that which you edit proportionally so now when I grab, you can see if I roll out, I, I'm, I'm moving more than just the one vertex. I'm, I'm moving the whole head. And that's, that's what we're going to do now. Okay. So now let's move around our, our form. Just build out the head. Okay. So he's, he's got, kind of got that big cartoony head. And then we'll pull out the back a little bit. We'll bring this up like that. Here's a fun shape right there. We'll bring this up just a scotch. Bring this back just a scotch. A lot of scotch is happening. And then here we can bring it in. And I'm just hitting G and bringing that in like that. We can bring this down a little bit. And we can bring this up a little bit like here. And then we can grab this and we can bring this in like that. Maybe top of the brow, we can bring this down a little bit like that. Here, we'll turn that off. Let's hit these faces. And now let's grab, and same thing. And we'll pull these down a little bit, right? So now we're pulling these down. You can bring that in like that. You can grab this, and then we can go back to vertices. And this is really, this is about you getting comfortable moving your geometry around, okay? And it's like all you're trying to do is kind of is just loosely match up like don't worry don't worry about shape or form yet we're not there we're really not there like don't worry about matching uh any of this um with with the nose or the chin or the jowls or anything like that like just just basic form okay that's all we're that's all we're after like you're creating kind of you know it's like a like a scrunched up peanut Okay. Don't worry about making the nose. Don't worry about making the eyes. This is this is baseline early. We're really early. Okay. Now, one tool that I absolutely love is well, it's an add-on. So everybody go to Edit Preferences Add-ons, and then you're going to search for something called Mesh Tools. Okay. Edit Mesh Tools, and then enable this. I already have it enabled, and then save and load. And now when you hit N, like Nancy, you can hit edit and you're going to see you have a bunch of loop tool options. And this, this is a lifesaver, you guys. I really love these. I love these so hard. So you can see how we kind of have, you know, this, this loop goes up and then it comes down and it swoops around like a Nike swoosh. If we wanted to chill this out, we could hit alt click to select the whole edge loop and then come up here and hit relax and it just chills them out, right? Um, we can do the same thing up here. Just hit relax, and it like it just softens the geometry, which is really just oh, it's my favorite. Because if you wanted to do this manually, this was just going to be a pain in the patoot. So you're going to see me doing this a bunch um, over the course of our time together, um, because I really it's just it's 
it's a tool that I like. So this this can be one of your great friends. Um, and once you have once you have that how you how you like it, uh, great. Okay, and don't worry if this doesn't look like this. It will. It will eventually. All right. Right now, it's just learning how to move and manipulate your your shape and form. So if you made it this far, great. Um, in the next one, we'll start building out the eyeball.